Okay, so ready to dive into this deep dive on telehealth. Absolutely. You sent over some seriously interesting articles and research. Yeah. And um, I got to say, this whole idea that telehealth is mm -hmm. way more than just like jumping on a video call with your doctor really caught my eye. Right. What are your thoughts on that? What makes telehealth tick? That's a really good question. And you're absolutely right. It's, it's way more than just a simple video chat. Telehealth is really about using any kind of technology to deliver healthcare remotely. So think like mobile apps that are tracking your vital signs or even remote monitoring of patients with chronic conditions using wearable tech, well, even sending images to a dermatologist to get a diagnosis. It's all about making healthcare accessible beyond the doctor's office. You mentioned remote patient monitoring. That sounds like something straight out of Star Trek. Yeah. It makes you wonder, where did this all begin? Was telehealth like beaming its first signals from space or something? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It's funny you should mention space. NASA actually did play a big role. But the roots of telehealth actually go back even further to the 1950s. Believe it or not, doctors were already using telephones back then to consult with patients in remote areas. Wow, really? Talk about being ahead of their time. I never would have guessed telehealth had been around that long. It's true. And then in the 1960s, with the space race heating up, NASA needed ways to monitor astronauts' health remotely. And that's when things like remote monitoring of vital signs really took off. Those NASA innovations, they really became the building blocks for a lot of the telehealth technology we're using today. Wow. It's amazing how seemingly totally unrelated fields can intersect and lead to such groundbreaking innovations, right? It really is. I guess we owe NASA a thank you for more than just those incredible moon landing photos. Yeah. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for telehealth from the 60s to now, was it? Hmm. I imagine there were some hurdles along the way. Oh, absolutely. Like any new technology, telehealth faced its fair share of skepticism, especially in the early days. Many doctors were hesitant, and understandably so. They were used to in-person examinations. And to be fair, the technology back then wasn't nearly as sophisticated as it is today. Right. It makes sense that doctors would be cautious. So who really championed telehealth in those early years? Who helped bridge that gap between the skepticism and the adoption? Well, one group that comes to mind is the Veterans Health Administration, the VA. They were really at the forefront of adopting telehealth. That makes a lot of sense. The VA serves a huge population, and it's really spread out, especially with veterans in rural areas or those who might have difficulty traveling. Using technology to reach those veterans seems like such an obvious solution. You're absolutely right. They recognized that very early on. The VA had this massive network of hospitals and clinics, but it wasn't easy for every veteran to physically get to them. So they started exploring telehealth and pretty quickly saw how powerful it could be in breaking down those barriers to access. And their success stories, those really became kind of a guiding light for the rest of the medical community. It's really amazing how sometimes limitations can spark innovation like that. So I'm guessing the VA's experience really helped show everyone that telehealth could actually deliver good quality care, even remotely. Exactly. Their real world experience was really invaluable. It's shown other healthcare providers that telehealth wasn't just this futuristic concept. It was a practical solution to a real problem. And that kind of brings us to another turning point for telehealth, the COVID-19 pandemic. Right, yeah. the pandemic. That must have been a real game changer for telehealth. Suddenly it wasn't just about convenience, it was a necessity for a lot of people. Absolutely. If the VA planted the seeds, you could say the pandemic was the sunlight and water that really allowed telehealth to blossom. Practically overnight, in-person doctor visits became risky, so people turned to virtual care in huge numbers. And this had a ripple effect. Not only did it normalize telehealth for patients, but it also forced a lot of healthcare providers to adapt and actually integrate these technologies into their practices. So it sounds like the pandemic, as disruptive as it was, really push telehealth into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And now that so many people have actually experienced it, I'd imagine it's only going to keep evolving. Speaking of evolution, what are some of the recent advancements in telehealth that you're most excited about? What's on the horizon? One word. Artificial intelligence. AI in healthcare. That sounds fascinating. Tell me more. It's really revolutionary stuff. We're talking about AI algorithms that can analyze medical images with incredible precision, potentially even spotting things that a human eye might miss. Imagine getting a diagnosis where the doctor is being aided by an AI that's analyzed millions of medical cases and is able to pick up on these subtle patterns that even a really experienced doctor might overlook. So it's like having a whole team of specialists, but in the form of AI backing up your doctor. Exactly. And it goes way beyond just diagnosis. Think about things like personalized treatment plans tailored to your unique medical history and even your genetics. 
AI can process huge amounts of data to create treatments with so much more accuracy than we've ever had before. That's incredible. It sounds like we're on the verge of this whole new era of personalized medicine. Yeah. Okay, so AI-assisted diagnoses and personalized treatments, that's already blowing my mind. But what else is in store for us? What does the future hold for telehealth? Get ready, because we're about to step into the future of healthcare. Think augmented reality being used for remote surgery. Whoa, no, that's what I call high-tech healthcare. How would that even work? Imagine a surgeon wearing AR glasses, right? And these glasses are overlaying patient data and real-time guidance right onto their field of vision. Oh, wow. It's like giving them x-ray vision, but even better because they're also seeing real-time vitals and all sorts of other crucial information. And this could let skilled surgeons perform complex procedures from anywhere in the world. Wow, that would be revolutionary, mm. especially for people in remote areas or places that don't have access to specialists. It's like teleporting a doctor right to where they're needed. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just surgery either. Virtual reality is showing a lot of potential for mental health therapy too. Imagine treating things like phobias or PTSD in these immersive but controlled virtual environments. That's amazing. It could change everything about how we approach mental health care. It sounds like the possibilities are pretty much endless. But with all this incredible potential, there must be some challenges too, right? You're right. With any big advancement, there are always going to be challenges. As telehealth becomes more and more integrated into our lives, we need to make sure that everyone has equal access especially underserved communities. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that everyone has reliable internet access and the devices they need to benefit from these advances. That's such an important point. Technology is only truly revolutionary if everyone can benefit from it. Absolutely. And of course, data privacy and security are huge concerns. We're talking about sensitive health information here more than ever before. So keeping that information safe and secure is absolutely critical. It sounds like there's a lot to consider as telehealth continues to evolve. So as we start to wrap up our deep dive here, what would you say is the biggest takeaway you want our listeners to remember? Telehealth has come such a long way from those early days of doctors using telephones to now where we're talking about AI, AR, and VR revolutionizing healthcare. And this field is only going to keep changing at an incredible pace. So it's more important than ever to think critically about both the amazing potential and the challenges that come with it. Absolutely. It's been a fascinating deep dive today, and I feel like we've only just scratched the surface. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your expertise. It's been incredibly insightful. Of course. It's always a pleasure to talk about the future of healthcare, especially when there's so much to look forward to. That's all the time we have for today, but we'll be back next week with another deep dive on a new topic. Don't forget to subscribe to the show and leave